Look what you see. Jesus addresses the issue um, in that scripture where um, of the leaven of the Pharisees. He addresses the issue. Go to John 6, verse 66 through 69, where it says, For that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then Jesus said unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon, said Peter, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of God. He addressed the issue. What issue did he address? Those people who were walking out on him. Look at his disciples. You going to turn around and leave also? So he addresses it. He deals with it. That's what the true man of God does. That's what he does. He's got nothing to hide. He's not playing any games. Exactly what Jesus did. Exactly what Jesus You don't believe me. Look at Matthew 17 verses 24 through 27. And when they were come to Capernaum, they, they that had received the tribute money came to Peter and said, Doth your master not pay the tribute? He said, Yes. And when he was coming to the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon? What is, look, what you see how he's addressing it. Jesus ain't playing no games. Oh, well, maybe that's just New Testament. That is just new. Oh, it's in the Old Testament. And we can go to Genesis. Go to Genesis if you want to see how God addresses things. Look at Genesis chapter 3, verse 11 through 17. And I'm just going to read the, the first thing that he, uh, why he was addressing this situation. I'm going to read verse 11. Here we go. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree where I, whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? Look at that. Look, the, the first man being addressed by God. God is addressing an issue. God is addressing it. He's not hiding it. That's what the man of God does. They do exactly how God does. They do exactly how Christ does. You don't believe me? Okay. Let's go down to Genesis chapter 20. Verse 1 to 7. If you look at that. That's where Abraham told that lie. And what did God do? I'll read the last word. He says, Now therefore restore the man and his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And restore her not. not if thou restore her not, no that thou shalt surely die. I don't know, I think the recorder stopped recording. But you see here in that Genesis chapter 20, verses 1 through 7, Abraham lied to Abimelech, the king. And God caused a dream to happen to Abimelech. See, God was addressing the issue. That's what he does. Okay, you want me to go on? Fine. Malachi 1, verses 6 through 8. Here he is. A son honoreth his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Saith the Lord of hosts, O priest that despise my name. And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offer polluted bread upon my altar, and ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? And in that ye say, the table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer blind for sacrifice, is it not evil you see that you, you see that and if ye offer the lame and the sick is it not evil offer it now unto the governor will he be pleased with thee or accept thy person saith the lord of hosts see him addressing the issues addressing their sin that's what the man of god does if there's an issue he's going to address it I'm not talking to reveal your personal business out there. But he's going to address it. If somebody's calling him a liar, he's going to say it. Hey, somebody's saying I'm a liar. Now you know I ain't no liar. See, he addresses it. That's what the man of God does. That's what he does. And you got to see that. You have to see that. And now you look at the American church and see, compare from what scripture is teaching, do you see that in the American churches today? I'm not talking all of them, 
I'm talking majority. Do you see these so-called preachers addressing issues? I'm not talking politics. It's not what I'm saying. Mm -mm. The true pastor addresses the issues with the church. When the congregation has an attitude like a grizzly bear, the congregation is warned. When there's an issue with the pastor, the congregation is told of it. Look at the scriptures. Look at the scriptures. See, the false, the one who's trying to hide something, ain't going to want to speak about it. He's not. Because he's not called by God. You don't, you don't believe me. Let's look at the scriptures. Let's check it out. Here's what the scriptures say. In Luke 22 verses 47 through 48. This is when Judas is speaking. And while, Judas, while he yet spake. Behold a multitude and he that was called Judas. And one of the twelve went before them. And drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said unto him. Judas betrayest thou the son of man with a kiss. Now you notice. Judas didn't say nothing. After that. Didn't say a word. He didn't address the issue. He didn't address his be betrayal. Oh, Christ addressed it. But Judas didn't. Why? Judas trying to hide. That's what the false teacher will do. He will hide. If he finds that you start questioning stuff, he's going to try to hide. He ain't going to address it. I'm, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what, why I'm addressing this characteristic. It is so important. See, remember, God is true. God is truth. God has no reason at all to hide anything from us. So if he's calling a man to give you the gospel, that man has no reason to hide anything from you. He's going to address things. He's going to know the things that are going on. And he's going to address them. And that's why I'm taking this time with this part of the series to address this. Because we, the believers, need to see that. If your pastor is out there and he is working hard. And he's giving you the gospel and he's exegeting the text. And he's exposing scripture to you. And it's addressing issues, sin in your life. That's a man of God. That's a man of God. And I, I'm going to say this. And I want you to hear this. A lot of us younger Christians don't like listening to older Christians. But we must. We must. Because the older ones are addressing the issues. I advise you, Christians, to investigate every single man that is claiming to say something for God, including yours truly. Investigate me. Put me up to scripture. See if I'm addressing the issues. I'm talking address everyone. Every single pastor. What's the big pastors out there now? In the reform circles. Come on. John Piper. John MacArthur. Who else? Who, who, who are the big guys? Paul. What? Paul Washer. What's his name? Yeah. All of them. See if they're addressing the issues. See if they're men of God. That's what this is about. See if they're called by God. Because if they're not, cut them off. Stop listening to them. That's what I want you to know. That's what I want you to see. This has been Difference Maker. I'm praying that you guys will listen to the word of God. And see that the true man of God proclaims the gospel and addresses the issues 
and has nothing to hide. God bless you and may his grace be with you in Jesus Christ.